Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Obanje Joseph. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Um, and today we are going to be looking at how to write objectives of the research. Objectives, objectives, that is objectives of the study objectives of the study in a research okay so um every research you know the purpose of a research is to discover answers to questions through the application of scientific procedures you know you know the main aim of research is to find out you know the truth which is hidden and which has not been discovered yet okay do each research study has its own specific purpose okay we may think of research objectives as falling into a number of following you know into a number of uh, groupings but before we go into groupings okay when you know i need to actually let you know that objectives of the study you know are actually formulated based on the problems being investigated you know now based on the problems being investigated students should be able to actually you know develop aims for the study as well as specific objectives to be achieved you know now the objective of the study must address research problems and it must be measurable it must be measurable it must be measurable it must be accurate realistic and timely so Objective of the study states the main aim and specific objectives that will be accomplished in the study. Okay, it is goal oriented and it emphasizes practical outcomes. You know, this can be written as a general. So, so objectives of the study can be written as general statement of or major objectives or broad objectives of or broad objective of the study. And then split into specific statements of objective. Don't forget that each research question must have a specific statement of objective. So if you have four research questions, you are going to have four research objectives. If you have four, five research, research questions, you are going to have five research objectives. Okay, so those are just the major things. Now, research objective actually has you know, has the following groupings. What are the purposes? What is the main reason for research object or objectives of the study? The main reason for, the, for objectives of the study are, you know, to gain familiarity with a phenomenon or to achieve new insights into, you know, into studies, okay, you know, to acid, achieve insights into what you are trying to, uh, you know, um, what you are trying to research on. Okay. Now, by the time someone picks or a reader picks your research work and looks at your objectives of the study, like I said, specific and general objectives, the person should be able to actually identify or gain familiarity, okay, with the phenomenon that you are trying to actually, you know, work on. That is number one purpose of objective of the study. The second purpose is to portray accurately the characteristics of, you know, a particular individual situation or group. Okay. It is actually very important that it is the objective that gives you an accurate characteristics of, you know, what you are doing. Okay. It gives a view okay it gives a, you know it gives a view it gives you know a, a more insight into what you are trying to achieve what you are trying to you know research on then number three it determines okay it determines the frequency with which something occurs or with which it is associated with something or something else you know it, it, it is used to determine the frequency with which something occurs and with which it is associated with something else 
else okay so studies with this object object in view are known as diagnostic research studies don't forget that when you are actually looking at objectives of the study you are looking you know it will help you to know whether you know how frequent okay how frequent something occurs within a particular study that you are carrying out okay then the last thing the last purpose of objective of the study is to test a hypothesis of a causal relationship between variables you know such studies are known you know as hypothesis testing research studies okay so those are the things now every research work like i said from the beginning must have a purpose for which that research work is undertaking now the purpose could be a general statement of objective or, or, which is then split into specific objectives okay so in a research work for example okay uh, for example if i'm doing something on the impact of imf policies on the political economy of nigeria i'm going to have a broad objective which is to examine the impact All of right off to examine the impact of IMF policy on the political economy of Nigeria. And then the specific objectives will be, you know, the specific objectives will, will be that, okay, number one, okay, um, to analyze the impact of IMF on the political economy of Nigeria. Number two, to, to uh, investigate, okay, the series of policies that have been that have been um, brought handed down to the Nigerian government by the IMF. Number three, to look at the challenges. No, to um, to to evaluate the challenges that have bedeviled the Nigerian political economy. You know, uh, uh, as a result of IMF intervention in the Nigerian political economy. Then number four, you know. To look at ways you know or to analyze the ways in which the challenges bedeviling the political economy of nigeria can be ameliorated now what i've just said is that if you have four research questions you're going to have four objectives of the study if you have five you're going to have five now there are certain opening and um, words that can be used okay when you are writing your objectives of the study you know th these words include you know these words include okay uh, to examine to examine to analyze to assess to you know to evaluate you know these are words that can be used okay as the opening of each of the specific you know objectives of the study so in doing research objective you must be very plain you must be very specific okay and you must be direct you know it must be direct to the question now you cannot just um yes there is a the broad objective that has to be written then split and then split into um specific objectives you understand and i told you that your objective must not be more than five and it, 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 it should not be less than four so if you and it has to be written in line with the research questions so if the research questions you know if first research question is what is the impact of imf on the political economy of nigeria your first objective of the study should be to examine the impact of imf on the political economy of nigeria if your second research objective second research question is uh, what are the challenges of imf policies on the political economy of nigeria now your second research question will now be you know to evaluate the challenges of imf policies on the political economy of nigeria so now what whenever you are actually writing your specific objectives okay you must take into cognizance the your research question so that 
you can align your objectives of the study with your research question. That way, it will help you to actually be focused because whatever objective you have in your research work, you know, in your chapter two, you have to make reference to it. In your chapter four, you okay, you have to make reference to it. In your chapter five, you also have to make reference to it because it is the objective that you are actually achieving, that you are trying to achieve, okay, throughout your research exercise. So from chapter one to chapter five, your research objective is actually what you are trying to achieve, okay? Thank you very much.